Jill Sullivan, 7th and 8th grade science, Mayport Coastal Science Middle School. She just wants the best from you and she never takes anything less. Everyone have their field books ready? She's the best teacher that I've ever had by far. My path to becoming a teacher um, was not without obstacles and I found I've shared some of those obstacles with my students. So I went to Northside Skills Center and I learned how to become a dental technician. And in my sophomore year, they placed me in a job placement. And so when I first started the job, it was a part-time job and then they asked me to work full-time. So as my other brothers and sisters, I also dropped out of school when I was in 10th grade. Um, we got my GED before my graduating class of 1986. So I was always asked to train new employees at the desk, and then I started working for St. Luke's to teach CPR. And when my children came, it was just like that was where my forte was, teaching people. So after um, my children were born, I went back to school, got my degree, and became a teacher. Keeping seventh graders and eighth graders entertained can be a challenge because you have to keep them focused, but they're, when they come in, they're so excited for life and they have this natural curiosity. So if I can tap into that natural curiosity, then I have a captive audience. Well, Ms. Sullivan lets us go outside to Sherman's Creek, which allows us to have real hands-on experience without letting us just do book work inside the class. I try to give them authentic experiences that they can apply what we're supposed the, the standards that we're learning to everyday life. Her teaching methods are so hands-on and real life that it's so fun. It's like intriguing, like you want more. You're never bored in her class. And I'm going to put you at different stations. I've poured my heart and soul into our coastal science curriculum. So it's really, that's really endearing to me to have these kids come in and I'll walk I'm on my way to on my way to my classroom. I'll see kids at the different tanks looking, and they're excited, and the oohs and ahs and the ahas um, makes it very personable to me. And I'm really I'm really excited to be involved in that. So the doors open on the back, and you're absolutely right. There's never two days that are the same. They come in and they inspire you. They're funny, um, humorous. You know, we go through. You know, there's times with those kids, we go through the ups and the downs together, so we come together as a family with that. Miss Sullivan should be Teacher of the Year because of a lot of her characteristics are based on caringness. When I found out that my peers elected me to represent them as Teacher of the Year, Miss McRae came into my classroom and I had kids there and she brought this big cake. So that really got the kids' attention. So they were like, oh, what's this all about? Means older. How do you know that that tree's older than, say, this one next to it? We take it to heart because it personifies what we believe in here, you know, a strong work ethic, um, a, so, a civic responsibility. We want to produce American citizens that are productive to move American forward. So this is basically giving us um, some credibility that, that we've done that and we really want to share that with you know the whole community of, of educators.